Chris Patrick with Path Magazine. I got a very special guest with me. We're here at WXOK's 59th anniversary celebration in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I got here with me South African Jonathan Butler. How are you doing, Jonathan? I'm doing really good, man. How are you doing? I am blessed. Very blessed. I can see you wearing Prada glasses, so. Yeah, God is good, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now, you got so much going on. You actually just came back from South Africa. And Yesterday. A, oh, wow. So Yesterday. How, was, how was that like when you're ministering to the people of God there? Well, you know, I, I was actually hosting a safari when, when I was out, out there right now for two weeks. So it's really great. I get, I get a chance to go home and host. Uh, this is my second year. Mm -hmm. And so Americans come to South Africa, and I get to show them my country. They eat our food. They, they, they learn about our country. They learn the history of South Africa, mm -hmm. 20 years of democracy now. They go to, to where Nelson Mandela was in prison. Mm -hmm. They get to hear the stories and learn about what's, what's socially and politically and spiritually is happening in the country. Mm -hmm. And I get to show it to them. You know, and it's it's really great. It's do they really interpret great. or perceive gospel music the same way as people here do in the States? Well, let me tell you, you know, first of all, music in America is like gold and diamonds in South Africa. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, the love of the love for God in South Africa and throughout Africa mm -hmm. is what I call very, very pure. Wow. There's a real love for God in Africa, which is very pure. And uh, it's, I love the fact that it's pure because, you know, people, when you don't have much and all you have is God, mm -hmm. that to me is, is really, uh, it's very powerful. So you know what really, like, uh, just surprises me and a lot of people don't know in the States is that right. a lot of people in Africa go under serious persecution for what they believe in Jesus Christ. Right now in Kenya, yeah. you have people getting killed. Um, you heard, I'm sure you heard about Well, in, in Uganda, you know, there's, uh, if they, they, they literally, you know, execute people if they're gay or whatever mm -hmm. the, the situation might be. And then there's also, you know, uh, but, uh, but at large, South Africa is, is a nation that really, really love the Lord. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and like I said, you know, people, the, here you can drive to church in your, in your Hummer, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, people walk to church that don't have cars in South Africa. Wow. And they really desire after God. They seek after God. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's really something, when I go home, it really moves me because um, I'm, a, I'm able to strip away a lot of things mm -hmm. and just and just love the Lord just like everybody else does. And you're from Johannesburg? I'm from Cape Town. Cape Town, okay. The, the fairest and the most beautiful city in the, in the planet. <laughs> I would love to visit yeah, there. I mean, yeah. I'm actually trying to get out there and just preach, you know, teach the gospel well, out it, there. It's amazing. I've, <laughs> I've, the people that go with me on the safari, they want to end up living there. One of the, one of the ladies, um, actually, when she got there, she wanted to... She asked me who she can talk to to um, have dual citizenship. Mm -hmm. One of the other ladies ended up uh, applying for university mm -hmm. in Cape Town because she wanted to finish school there. Mm -hmm. So there's so much there in South Africa mm -hmm. that um, to offer. And I, it's amazing, man. Listen, it's, it's only 15 hours to fly from Baton Rouge to Dallas and straight to Johannesburg. Wow. So wow. get on your plane ticket. I want to get out there. You know, I, I first heard about you. Yeah. You know, I'm actually really excited to, 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 to be interviewing you. Guys, this is Jonathan Butler, Path Magazine. I'm really excited about that because, you know, the first time I heard about you was when gospel goes classical. Yes. Okay. And you with did Juanita. that with Juanita Bynum. Yes, yeah, yes, so yes. You yes. burst on the scene with that. And I, that's when everybody kind of like, or at least I attribute it to kind of, you know, hearing about you there. Yes, yes. And now you got this new project out yeah and i love the song you know give glory to god and yeah, yeah and, and the, the different songs that you got on there is yeah awesome awesome well the uh the moments of worship is like my those are my favorite worship songs mm -hmm. give glory to god i call you holy mm -hmm. and be glorified those are my favorite oh, be, love, my be favorite yeah. worship songs for me when mm -hmm. i'm chilling out and and just playing songs for me Amen. because i love serenading the lord i like i just think when i'm when I'm ministering or when I'm worshiping, it's it's uh, it's all about the Lord. It's not about me and anything else. So that's what I you know. And um, the gospel um, goes classical. That was such a great experience. Yeah, I mean it was groundbreaking. That was such a great experience. Um, 
in the sense that you know I've been making records since I was 12 mm -hmm. and so over the course of my year of my career mm -hmm. to do a record like that with a 50 75 piece orchestra in yeah. Birmingham Alabama um, and and I had no idea again had no idea that it would be you know affect it would sort of go from go into the classical charts, into the mm -hmm. gospel charts, and even uh, to some other crossover charts. So I'm really, really chuffed about that. Well, you're, it was groundbreaking, and your talent is very unique. And you ha do this stuff with the guitar, man. It's, it's. Yeah. It, you're one of the best gospel guitar players I've ever, ever really heard. I'm well, I've never heard of a gospel guitar player, but that's cool. Well, yeah, well, you're the a first. Player, period. <laughs> you're I the mean, first. You in Israel? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I saw it. him. I run into Israel all the time, uh -huh. as a matter of fact. He we, goes up to Cape Town a lot. Yes, he goes okay. up to Cape Town and Durban, and, and he knows a lot of the people I know. Okay. Friends of mine from way back. So, you know, yeah. when he went to do the uh, live South Africa record, I introduced him to some of my friends. Yeah. So there's a mutual community situation with us there. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So tell, tell us a little bit more about this album. Where do you, you know, hope it goes, and, and what was your motivation behind that album? Well, every every story on the record is is really about what I've been going through. Mm. It's not like you know I'm trying to just pick up songs out of the air. Mm. I think it's really songs that that we as a Butler family have gone through and had to endure. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody has got their own, uh, you know, pick up your cross and follow me. And, you know, and it, we all have how. Uh, our challenges that we face every day as family. I'm a father of three children and a grandchild. Amen. I'm married 30 years. Amen. Um, and you are fa you do face challenges. Mm -hmm. And so these songs come out from just real, real life situations that I have gone through. Amen. I stand on your word is something that really is happening, has happened to me in my life. And you know, and when you deal with cancer death loss of family members loss of friends um you, you you and you know losing your home and losing whatever you you know you lean on god and and you wait for god to give you a word and you and you wait until god gives you something to hope and so hopefully this record will bring hope and, and encouragement and lift people's spirit up. That's what I'm hoping to do with well, it. Well, guys, if you haven't heard of this Billboard uh, Top 10, I think you it debuted top 10, on there. It, it debuted number one in contemporary jazz and top 10 in gospel, That's yeah. Awesome. If you guys haven't heard this Billboard Top 10 album, make sure you check it out. Jonathan Butler, tell us where we can get your website and... You know, I'm on Facebook now. I'm going to tell people all about you guys on Facebook, so... Amen. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm... Uh, at the JonathanButler.com tour date so they can see where I am. Jonathan Butler on Path Magazine, guys. Make sure you check his music out. I promise you, when you get it, because I have got it, okay, I got it. So. And when you get it, you are going to be blessed. Make sure you check him out. Jonathan Butler on Path Magazine. Make sure you stay on the path. You're welcome. Cheers, guys.